make sure we go. Hey, hi, hi Sue, and whoever is joining us tonight at the Pilates and Weight Loss Studio in Canton. And I'm going to try to get my camera ready. You see yourself, Constance? Yes. Lovely. Let's see. I think I'm going to lower it. Bear with me, y'all. Lower this down. There we go. It's really good, too. Yeah, I'll move it around. I'm going to be standing first. Okay, so Constance, thank you, has agreed to do to model a few things tonight for us, which is great. And um, so I'm gonna do stuff too, but you know why? I'm kind of sore because I we have a motor home and my husband and I went on a big trip and I was doing planks while it was running, like on the floor. And so I it was really jarring my shoulders. <laughs> and I didn't realize till today, so I'm, my shoulders are really sore, but that's okay because sometimes it's better if the teacher doesn't do it at the same time, right? Don't you think? So this will be great. So I also have Donna here who's awesome. She just didn't want to be in the video tonight. And we're going to start with what I started with in this morning's class, which is our really good um, squats, Pilates squats. When you do Pilates exercises, you know, just like Pilates, I mean, just like other normal other exercises, you think slow it down. You think perfect form, okay? When you go slow, you're really carrying weight. So let's all stand up, ladies, and we're going to lift through the center of the chest. Bring the shoulders down. So I'd like you to just bring your, yeah, bring your hands up in front, in constant. And we're going to take a breath in and just sit down in your imaginary chair, exhale and hold. So right here, you're just activating all around the seat. You're actually stretching your calves. You're really activating the shins and we're starting to feel the muscles warm up. We're gonna breathe in. We're gonna breathe out and see if we can maybe squat down a little more. If you're new to this, it's gonna be really hard, but just hang in there and keep doing it because squats are a very important exercise. So now what we're gonna do is inhale to lower down and then exhale to come up, okay? Exhale, come up. Inhale to lower down as deep as you can today. I'd like it if you could go exhale, come up all the way down to the deep squat like constants. Let's do a few more. Inhale to go down. You wanna make yourself feel the burn. Hi, Sue. Slow up. Now see how Constance, when she's coming up, she's not standing up. She's only coming back up to that imaginary chair. Let's do a couple more. Inhale to slowly come down. Good, exhale, slowly bring that weight back up. You feel any burn yet? Oh, yes. Okay. Let's lift one of our feet. Don't stand up though. Don't straighten the leg. Don't straighten the supporting leg because we want to keep that continual kind of weight and heat happening. So let's keep breathing here. Putting your hands out like constant, sort of like you're on a tightrope. And you want to feel that burn. Maybe you can feel it for 30 seconds. If you feel tippy, if you need to kind of get your bearings a little, get right back up there because it's the, the intensiveness of it that really helps build the muscle. You have to tear to build, right? In muscle. That's how it works. So tell me when you're done. I'm thinking maybe a couple more good breaths. And we're going to release breath. We're going to continually long breathe so we can really maintain this. All right, let's go back to the chair. Sit down in our imaginary chair a little bit. Just get your bearings. And prepare. Exhale. Bring in the other leg up. So see how Constance is sitting in her imaginary chair. She's not standing up, just lifting up the leg. She's squatting in it. Okay, so let's stay here and breathe. This is one I just love to do because it's such a necessary exercise for over 40 people, age over 40, because we, you know, we, we start pushing ourselves up and getting it to get out of the chair. And that's at the beginning of the end for the legs. You know, right now, um, as a postmenopausal female, like I don't have a lot of flesh because it's a different way of carrying your weight which is no problem but i still want to have the curves that come from the muscle which my friend uh, constance has some good muscle oh all right how you doing burning. Can you do a couple more so donna's burning sue i hope you're burning too all right let's go ahead and come back Whew. and then we're just going to hang forward here guys so we're going to relax so we really created a lot of intensity bending your knees and let's practice what we want to practice in Pilates, which is allowing release 
of the musculature. So everybody, Donna over here and Constance are just really hanging, hanging, hanging forward. Good time to adjust our camera. Now I want you to feel your head just really hang forward. Let your head fall from between your shoulders. There's our Donna. Good. So we're going to feel that hang. And now coming up, rolling up slowly, just coming back into the day, ready to move on to the next exercise. And now we're going to take our body into our plank position. So we just, you know, kind of start on the knees, reach out. And as you can see, so Constance isn't bringing her chin up. She's growing through the crown of her head. Her back is flat, like it's a straight line from her tail right through the crown of the head. That's the plank that I want you to do in Pilates. Slightly bend the elbows, just like when we bent our knees slightly, it brings those muscles into play, right? So when we slightly bend the elbows, so like a bulldog, we're really stressing ourselves. You feel it, Donna? Keep breathing, hold it. So this is what I did in the motor home. I was doing this while my husband Rob was driving. And so there was like jarring because it's not a smooth ride. But it was, and it was really good, like a really intensive uh, uh, balanced workout. So let's try a few push-ups then. Just bending the elbows, inhale, and straightening them back out. See how you do, Donna? You do what you can do, yeah. So Donna's modifying her plank by going on her knees. Remember this? And we're here. And Constance is doing her full plank. Notice how slow she's going. It's a lot more challenging, you guys. Really good for you. It's good for men, too. So we want to put weight in those arms and in the back. How many more do you want to do, Constance? Two. All right. She inhales as she's coming down. And she slowly picks it back up again. Inhales as she's coming down. Good. Now we want to reward ourselves with our shell stretch. On your knees, reach back, and take your body into allowing release and relaxation here. Learn how to switch gears. You've been intense, you've been holding that, and now it's time to just let your body go. Good. Okay, let's roll up out of this by drawing your tummy in, making that C curve, keeping your head down and stacking your vertebra. Beautiful job, Constance, really beautiful. So to begin today, let's do some serious crunching, okay? And then we'll hit the belly and we'll be stretching and then we'll do a bunch of stuff with the back there. So let's lie on our backs. And we are going to do uh, those little crunches, my favorite, the calinetics one. And the more advanced way, one knee at a time into the chest, two straight legs up looking similar to the Pilates 100, but this one is different, you guys. You can modify by putting uh, your feet on the floor or keeping your legs up, Donna. Okay. So Donna is keeping her legs up here. Constance can challenge herself by bringing them down a bit, and she can still keep her spine on the mat. So you decide. Let's do two upper head curls before we do the pulsing piece. Palms on the mat, take a breath in, tuck the chin, then exhale, two, three, Four, and lower down. Notice how she tucks her chin before she lifts her head. Again, inhale, exhale, pull up, bring your hands off your mat. Three, two, three, four. No, we're not doing that one. Now we're going to do the one where we do it with a little pulse. Remember? Okay, here we go. Nod the head. Blowing up, pulse. Two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Keeping it right in here. Keep your hands up and reach reach, reach, reach. Look how Constance is reaching forward. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Try not to move your head. Let's focus right below the rib cage, right below the breast. Crunching, crunching, crunching. Let's do on your own a few more breaths here so that you can really get tired. I want you to tire yourself out. Challenge yourself. Feel a little burn in that belly. Okay, she's completely exhaled. Now roll down slow, we'll pull both knees into the chest to relax your back. All right, like we did this morning, let's take our hands under our knees and we're gonna come up and do some special kind of rolling. Nod your head, slow on the lift. All right, so notice how she had a little struggle there. That was perfect. We should be struggling on these just a little bit, right? All right, let's start with our open leg rockets today. 
So sorry about that. Johnny, you might want to scoot up. So everybody bring your bottom up to the front of the mat. I think you're fine, Constance. We're going to straighten one leg out. So go ahead, just one leg straightens out. See what you see? One leg. Make it really straight. Now look how straight your leg is. So you can do that. You can do it. Just hold that confidence. Bend that one and straighten the other one. Exhale, straighten, hold it up. Do you feel it? You watch it. You feel more confident. Now you try both. Bend, exhale, straighten both up. Hold it up. Okay, good balance. Breathing, breathing. When you feel a little stressed, you want to breathe. Okay, what we're going to do is do the one where we release the hands and hover over the shins and let go. Right, inhale, exhale, release. Two and three and four. Hold. And when you release, you're real tall. Exhale and your next release. Two and three and four. Hold. How you doing? Inhale. Exhale, release. Two and three and four. Hold. Let's do two more. Exhale, hold it up. Really good job, Donna. Hold. She's making great progress. And one. Reach. Two and three and four and hold. Beautiful, making her body tremble. She's working to keep the balance. That's where your progress happens. Let's try relaxing into the open leg rockers. Just fall back and then blow and lift. Staying relaxed. Beautiful, Donna. Let's just go at your own pace. Everyone fall back. Exhale, lift. Keep going. If, with this one, sometimes if you do it more slowly, you actually can make your body hold better you could because you're using your breath when you use that breath on the lift it helps you to really get up in that blow and lift good breath Donna. so let's do about three more really focus feeling yourself pushing yourself to your limit right exhale and pause and lower slow pause wonderful wonderful Let's stay in the open leg rocker position and hold up. Now we're going to do something a little bit fancy. Keep your legs in a nice V. Roll down, let your head on the mat. And we're going to take the legs over the head in a V. Okay? So you can push your palms on the mat and over they go. Now we're flexing our feet on this. Really good, Donna. Great progress. Now, take the legs up to open leg rock, up to, to, <coughs> to jackknife. Now, Bring it down, nice and slow if you can. Bring it down with control. Beautiful, Donna. Heels together. Over again, blow over. Now open. Now raise to the V. Look at that. And lower with control. Great for the back. Heels together. Breathe out as you bring them over. You don't have to bring them down, remember them? It's a lot of work. That much is pointing and creating that momentum. You actually leave them right up there. So bringing it over, and you bring your heels apart to the knees, and then you hold the legs up, push it up, and then you carry the body weight down. Really good. Heels together, bend your knees. Go ahead, you finish with this one. You guys should have seen Donna on that one. I actually should have pointed the camera on her because she was focused on learning how to do that and if you just did that and you felt really awkward, it's okay. What you just did is difficult to do. But when you watch your progress, you're going to be really happy with that control and more control of the body. Okay, nod the head and come back to balance point. So tuck your chin, remember? Hold your leg and balance. All right, here we go. We're going to take the knees apart and we're going to do the seal, remember? Bring your toes together. And we're going to do three taps and roll back. It's that oddball, funky one. It's really old-fashioned, actually. Tap your toes together. One, two, three. Roll back. Hold. One, two, three. Roll up. Balance. <laughs> it's a little weird, isn't it? Inhale. Back. Tap, tap, tap. Slow. Tap, tap, tap. Inhale. Hold. Tap, tap, tap. Exhale and up. Tap, tap, tap. Wow. These girls are doing so well and come up because this one really depends on that balance right and you can roll back and hold it in place enough for three little taps and then bring it up one more here inhale back tap 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 exhale up tap, tap, tap. 
let's go back to our backs all the way back. So we've been activating, activating, activating the core. We've been really doing sort of crunch movements, making ourselves curl up into the ball. Let's take one knee at a time into the chest. We're going to do double leg stretch. So Donna, that one is when we show her one of them. Nod your head, curl up. So reach, and then exhale, wrap the body back around. So your legs are like going straight up. They're not going way out like that. So the modified version, your legs go. Let's show them a modified version. Up, go the legs a little more higher, even if you're a beginner. And then wrap your big arms around. Isn't that beautiful? Let's try it do any way you want, Curtis, to your chest. Inhale, reach. Exhale, wrap it around. Try to keep your head up. If your neck hurts, lay it down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, wrap it around and pause. Inhale, on the stretch. Now push your belly down. That's the focus. Go ahead. Go ahead. As you reach back, you're focused on pushing your lumbar spine into the mat. Not focused on the arms and legs, because that's where you might let your back relax a little bit. You want to contain that torso, contain that core. Really great exercise and pull. Lower the head and left. All right. I hope you're enjoying it, Sue. All right. Let's go ahead and gently roll over on our tummies. And we're going to do the swan movement in a special way today. Who knows what swan is? So there's a difference. There's a big difference between swan and cobra. In swan, press the show how you come up. Coming up to swan. See how she's not bringing her body all the way up? She's keeping her pelvis down. So you're really just stretching the tummy. Okay, that's the best. Plus her chin is coming up. She's not creating her neck. Let's try five more of those. Exhale up. Two, three, four. Lower down. There's a lot of intensity on this though. It's not easy. Exhale up. You're squeezing your glutes. You're pulling your tummy. You're lengthening through the crowd. And lower down. Inhale here. Exhale. Tighten your up. You knew what I was doing. I did. Go ahead. Pull your tummy in. Feeling it. Feeling it pull in and up. Let's do two more. Lower and lift. Go ahead. Uh, concentrate a little at your own pace. I got a little off on there. And one more when you're ready. And we want to feel the stretch in your tummy. Yep. Very good. Okay. We're going to do one that sort of remedies the tightness of this in your arms on this too. Donna's right with you. Straighten both arms out in front of you. So beautiful. This one is one of my favorites. Great for the back, especially if you've had chiropractic adjustments. All right, reaching forward, you want to stretch here. You want to think about your right hand, wiggle the fingers on your right hand, and wiggle the toes on your right foot. We're going to lift leg and arm, Same. not lifting from the knee and ankle. Okay, let's start together. And I'm sorry, I said the wrong thing, Constance. Right Same hand, one. left leg, <laughs> okay. and raise. Two, three, four, switch, exhale, lift. Two, three, four. Really good, Donna. Switch, reach. Three, four, and long and away. Reach. Three, four. You, so you're activating shoulder and hip. Three, four. And you're breathing. Every other one. Two, three, four. Now, if you can, switch quicker. Switch like all at once, right? Now, you're switching nice and quick, Constance. But um, no, what I meant by that is don't pause between your switch. Uh, just switch. You guys are trying to do that. And that's right. That's right. Yeah, Donna. Don't. Pause between you. Switch all at once. Okay, so they speeded it up. You can speed it up a little bit if you want. You just have to keep control on the exercise. Speed is fine as long as you can completely control that body. That is great. Now just rest for a moment, you guys. You're just going to rest. I'm going to have you gently come up onto your arms, onto your forearms. We're going to do that kicking quad stretch. Hopefully this will be good for you too, Sue, and whoever else is watching, Denise, maybe Kay, maybe Olivia, any of you friends, we're coming up on the forearms, looking at your soft hands in front of your face. We're lengthening from the tail, through the, right up through the crown, a straight line, really good, Donna, bring your head up just a tiny bit. I stay open in Pilates almost all the time, except for just a few times. All right, we are going to bend the knees, and we're going to point, kick, and flex and point and then lower down. Inhale and point and flex and point and lower. Continue. 
toes and heels and toes. You feel it in the quads. Inhale, point, flex, point, exhale down. Now what we want to do is keep those glutes activated to protect your low back. You want to still feel the tummy pulling in and up in a stretching position and keep going with it. If, if you're having a hard time with the point flex and point, just don't do it. Just kick uh, with pointed toes in the beginning. And then as you practice this video, you'll get better. Let's do just a couple more. Try to keep the knees together, Donna, in alignment. They tend to still want to go apart. That's a really common thing in the beginning for your legs to want to kind of miss a lot, go out of alignment a little bit because we have decades of, of using our body in certain ways. Pause. All right, now we're going to go ahead and do those beautiful head rolls. I think this one will be really good for you, too. Lengthening through the crown of the head. Tummy in, belly tight. Turn the head, pick a direction, and just turn it with your eyes open. And you're looking, you're rolling that head, just like an owl. Go as far as you can, and then drop and curve it around and look to the other side. Breathe in, drop and blow across the chest. So you're lengthening through the crown, through the back of the neck, through the traps. Lift, beautiful form constants. And we drop and roll and blow gently out all the way around. And we're going to do just one more. Make it count. Exhale, drop and blow around. Lift and pause. Let's do just a couple more before we congratulate ourselves with our shell stretch. Let's lie down and bring our palms and our thighs, okay? We're going to do the um, one where you can bring the arms all the way forward slow into Superman and then all the way back slow. This is Pilates. We're going to go slow. So Constance has gotten herself up into the dark position, which is everything's erect and engaged. Now we're going to breathe in and slowly bring those arms forward. This is not easy because it's all about control. And at first you feel shaky. It's harder to go slow. Hold the superwoman position, take a breath, and then slowly bring the arms back down, hovering over the floor with a lot of control, and pause. We're only going to do, do two more. These are great. Inhale, exhale, reach and slow. Control, control, control. Perfecting your physique, really perfecting that upper body. Inhale, exhale, slowly bring it down. I know it's hard right now, Donna. But your back is getting fixed. Everything's getting better and better and better. Your body's growing younger. One more. Exhale as you slowly bring the arms up to Superwoman. Tuck your chin about a half an inch down. Go through the crown of the head. Hold. And we breathe. Exhale down. Beautiful movements. It's just simple movements done thoughtfully. And let's melt your body. Just relax. Let your head go to one side. And think internally and feel the muscles. Because then, if you're experiencing tension, doing something very you can say, well, I'm noticing that tension. I'm just going to let that tension uh, you know, get into the body. Let's gently push up into our shell seat. This also nice and warm. And I notice Constance is taking the knees apart. You can do it that way. You can do it into alignment. If you want to do child's pose, whatever feels good to your body, what your body needs. But I like the fact that you guys are having arms forward because we're going to do the one where we turn that, uh, that hand under the armpit. So we're going to take the right hand, walk the little finger man under the left armpit and turn away from yourself. That's right. So we just want to feel that nice stretch all through the area of the shoulder blade there. And we're turning the spine. We're releasing tension. It's a long breath. Feels good. Okay, let's take that arm back in front. Stay rested. Taking your breath. Take the left hand. Walk in the little finger man under your armpit. Reaching as far as you can. And relaxing here. So why is it? It's not a little hard work, right? We, we do take moments to relax. Bring your hands back in front. And we're going to roll up the way we do on the breath, rounding the back, 
Get to seated on your heels, stacking the vertebra up. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. How about if we do our backward push-ups in a little different way today? Let's come to seated with the knees up. So we're going to do them just a little differently. And we're going to push up with our feet and our uh, hands into that little kind of square that you're going to see. All right, you know what to do, Constance. <laughs> and then we're going to hold up and do this. Up. Exhale up. Two, three, four. Rest, don't sit. And push it up for the next breath. So exhale, two, three, four. Lower inhale. Exhale, push, two, three, four. Watch your knees, bring them together just a little bit so you're, you're working on alignment until it, you don't have to work on it anymore. It just becomes the practice. Let's do three more. Press it up. You're really using your arms on this. Look at those arms, really pushing weight into there. Let's do just one more and this time let's hold it up and we're gonna straighten one leg. Just straighten a leg just for the challenge of it. See how you do. Bend and place it down gracefully. And try the other one, keep breathing. And then to place it down gracefully. Let's just sit down now and bring our legs in front. Flex our feet and reach over those toes. And that always feels good after that one. Great job, Donna and Constance. How about we go right into the nice straight leg roll-ups. Just roll all the way back and lay on your back with your arms back. And so Constance is going to model a more advanced form here, nodding your head, tight glutes, pick the body up, and reach over. Now if you don't want to do it in the advanced way, just bring your arms all the way forward above your thighs and that way. And if that's a little difficult, just do an upper ab curl and hold it there until the rest of us come back down. Okay? When you do that, you just come up and reach forward without picking your back up off the mat and hold, and then bring the back back down. Let's do several more. Breathe out, feel control, control, control. Over, reach, and resist, curve it down. Good work. Two, up and over, stretch, and roll that spine back down. Doing really well done. I love how you're modeling after the more advanced form, even though you just started about three weeks ago, right? Something like that. Well done. So Donna comes twice a week. She tries to, if I, if I don't cancel on her. And that's been awesome. So if you can do two Pilates videos a week or come to the Pilates and Weight Loss Studio in Canton, check the schedule on judyfarmer.com. And, you know, text me or call me and let me know when you're coming because we only have space for four. Very good, you guys. All right, let's continue on. Bring your body all the way up and sit up tall. And you can kind of face our little phone here. So we're gonna flex our, our spread the legs and flex the feet and sit really tall, pushing your hand behind you to really make that chest open. So we're gonna do several things in a row. These are not hard, but when you do several in a row, you're gonna really feel it. And that's what I want for you tonight. I want that for you, Sue. <laughs> All right, so let's take one arm out and the other arm out and do one really good shoulder shrug. Woo, Donna really love how you have that shoulder control. It's great improvement. I watch these people. All right, let's rotate and pulse. Exhale, turn to the right. Pulse and pulse and pulse. Pause, inhale. Exhale, rotate left. Pause, pulse, pulse. When you're turning, you're not bowing forward, right? So Constance has come a really long way here with her back. She had a, a lot of extra muscle in her back and her chest wasn't very open when she first started. Pilates, but now look, she's got really perfect form. Exhale, last one. Now come back to center, stay open. We're gonna do the nudging one. Bend your right elbow, twist in one, and pulse in three. Open, inhale, bend, and keep her going. Open, and one, and two, and three. Really good, Donna, pause, and open. Now on the, on the on nudges, we're twisting the torso. We're not so much using the shoulder. We're just twisting at the torso, keeping the upper body still. One more set, and one, and keep your arms up there. Don't rest unless you absolutely have to. Last side, one, and two, and three. Bring your arms forward now. We're gonna do shoulder slaps. That's old-fashioned Joe Pilates movement. 
this is about the shoulder blades okay so she's reaching trying to reach the camera and now she's going to exhale draw the shoulders back and squeeze them together like you're trying to squeeze my finger back there oh you're a little tight back there this is a strong woman but that strength often comes with extra tight muscles okay let's do some more reach forward and then draw it back let's do several more this one's for you constance I found a tight area, it's an upper back, very common, right? Reach and draw it back. And this is gonna help your neck, Sue, all this upper body movement. Let's do one more, reach forward and draw the shoulder blades together. Take the arms up, straight up. Now, if this bothers you, I'm gonna just, Constance isn't gonna modify, but if you have a little trouble keeping your arms up, bring them forward a bit, okay? You can still do this really well. It's shoulders up and down. So we'll just go ahead, straight up, and reach up with the shoulder blades, and then let the shoulder blades come down. You're just isolating the movement, lift, like the baby reaching for its mama, and then the shoulder blades come down. So we want to reach up, we want to strengthen and mobilize the upper body, not just strengthen it. Let's do a couple more. You feeling it, Donna? This is a really good one for you. All of these together are going to continually improve that body. Let's do one more and keep it right there we're going to go into the tulip now so take your left foot touch your inner thigh see how constance is keeping her arms up you don't have to but this is what you want to do to really make yourself even stronger okay ready we're going to twist the body to the left that's right and then we're going to lean to the right just like tipping the, the dew off your tulip to the right we're going to come back up straight and tall we're going to spine stretch forward exhale and then roll it up and back to perfect form. Rotate left, inhale, exhale, tip, just like a teapot, hold it, hold it for a minute. Feel that, that's a tough spot, really good for you. Bring it back up, inhale, forward, lengthen through the crown, and roll the back up. Such a back strengthener, two more. Rotate left, tip to the right. It's okay, Donna, take a break, come back when you're ready. This is part. Now we're back up. Exhale forward, like I was telling Donna, if you can't do it all, all these right in a row, that's okay. Twist left, pause, and jump back in the game, because if you repeat this video, you will improve each time. And forward for the last one, roll up and good. Okay, keep your arms up if you can. I'm really twitching. Switching legs, we twist to the right. Sorry, Donna, I should pause for you. Did you, you got something going on? Tip to the left, hold it. So you're tipping toward me, and that's right. And you feel step back in here, it's uncomfortable, go back up tall, bow forward, and roll up. Good, now we're switching to the right, and lean to the left, feeling it. And kick it off. Exhale, bow forward. Roll up. It's really strengthening all the muscles in the low back. That's why I love it. Rotate left. Tip right. Left. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Pick it up. Bow forward. Roll up. Are we on the last one then? Yes. Twist right. Now let's lean to the left and hold it. Make yourself feel it. Try to stay tall with your head up. Bring it back up. And lengthen forward and roll up and let those arms come down. Congratulations to both of you. Everyone is pushing themselves, right? That's great. We're so proud of you. Let's clap on. Yay, guys. <laughs> You're great. Okay, let's continue. What, what do you guys have any that you want to do? Uh, something else for the abs. Uh huh. Or at least one more, maybe. If oh, they, I know uh, what I want to do. Okay. She asked for it. Okay, so you can modify this. Okay, we are going to uh, sit face facing me and take your feet off the mat and go into balance point. So you bend your knees and balance. That's the balance point. That's always the beginning of rolling like a ball. Now we're going to try the open leg rocker stance again. Hold one leg at a time, then the other. Relax and focus on your form. Now, when you do this one, if you end up bending your knees, that's okay. This is a form of something called a teaser. Whenever you hear the word teaser in Pilates, you're afraid, right? 
You should be. <laughs> all right, so what we're gonna do, ladies, is we're gonna come all the way down, hands behind the head. Bring your hands behind your head and you're gonna come up and reach. Exhale, hold. Then you're gonna twist right, inhale, flow and twist left. Come to center and down you go. I'm gonna give you breath cues on the next one. Now next one we're gonna twist the other way. Okay, arms forward, nod the head, lift. If you need to bend, that's okay. That's right, twist left, twist right. Inhale, center. Exhale, control the down. Just do it with bent knees. If you, if you can't keep them straight, it's all right. Now the head, wall, lift, hold, twist right, exhale, left, inhale, center. This is a real deal. And lower down. One more. Doing great. Now your head, blow. You got to use that breath, right? Twist left and right. Inhale, center. You hear her breathing perfectly. And down. I love that one. So Donna, the fact that you attempted it is admirable because that's one of the more advanced ones that I can teach. So that was really good. And as you notice, you know, I mean, it was a little bit of a struggle for Constance because we always want to we always want to do an exercise that's a little bit too hard so we can feel our limit in Pilates. We keep improving our body, right? Okay, let's take both knees at a time into the chest. And we're going to do our classic double leg lift. So to do that one, both legs are straight up in the air to begin. We nod the head, pick it up. We take the hands behind the head. Remember, fingertips hold that head weight better. Look how her elbows are back. It's really good, Donna. Lower the legs on the inhale, reasonably. Exhale, pick them up. Okay, that's what it is. Now, you might not want to lower your legs as much as Constance. Exhale, carry it up. That's how slow she's going. You might want to only bring them down halfway. That's what I do, because in my spine, that's my limit. You have to know your limits, right? Exhale, pick it up. This was one of the hardest ones that I learned to do in the beginning when I was learning how to do Pilates. It was a struggle. It was a struggle. But then you feel the reward, and your body shows it, too. So that's a double double blessing. How many do you have? About six? Let's do one more. I think that would make it about eight. Bring the knees in and rest your head down. And let's just take a moment, just slowly roll the head back and forth. Imagine, could you go ahead and put one foot at a time down on the mat, Donna, so you can really relax your head and neck. So isn't this a good time for beautiful head rolls? So Constance is, is gonna model it and I'm gonna sort of show you how if you haven't done it before. Sue, I think this one's a really nice one too. So. What we're doing, Donna, you've done these, you're relaxing with your body on the mat, you're not stressing, and we're just going to roll the head. So with this one, we're not picking the head up at all. Just tuck your chin and imagine that your nose has a stick on it. It's pointing down to number six on a big analog clock. This clock is huge. Okay, so you're picturing this giant clock in front of you. You're pointing to number six, which means you're lengthening the back of the neck. And we're going to start to the right, so we're going to pull that pointer down to five, and then over to four, three, go as far as you can over, breathe, two, one, going slow, 12, creating the neck, over to the left, and bring it to 11, and 10, picture that big clock, nine, eight, now if you run into kinks or pain, you've got to pause and rub your neck or something, right, if you don't, just go slow and deliberate, stop at the six. Good, let's try the other direction. Your chin is tucked. Inhale, pull it to number seven, then eight, nine, way over, eyes open. Look up, 11, oh, look at that beautiful sky. 12, slow, feel it. I heard a little crackling going on, that's okay. As long as it doesn't hurt, okay, it's all right. Bringing that chin down. Roll the head back and forth. Now we're going to sort of add to that. So I want you to come back to relaxed head and neck, neutral cervical curve. Now tuck the chin. Okay, you're just tucking your chin here. You feel the back of the neck lengthen. Don't lift your head up yet. All right, now what we're going to do with our eyes open is we're going to do a shoulder shrug. Slide the shoulders up, keeping that chin tucked. Now slide the shoulders down. And with your chin tucked, 
really feeling a lot of nice stretching and traps in the side of the neck. Now we're going to keep it right there and we're going to slowly keep the chin tuck, bring that chin over to the left. Ooh, keep the shoulders pulled down. You're feeling a really good amount of relief right there. This is a good one for you, Constance. Do you feel it, Donna? Are you okay with it? Yeah. You really want to pull the arms down and the chin is sort of plucked. And so you're really releasing through the opposite side. Same. We're going to breathe. And gently roll the head and keep bringing it over to the left. We're really pulling down on the arms, pulling the fingertips to the heels. Oh, oh my God. So you really want to feel the stretch through the side muscles in the neck. Those are so tight sometimes, right? So we're holding that. And we just bring that chin back around to down. And then roll the head back and forth. Relax the shoulders. And we're just coming up to our nice neutral curve in the neck. All right, how about some bridging, you guys? How about some bridging, Sue? I hope you enjoy it. We're in perfect alignment, Donna. We're gonna practice peeling the spine off the mat, people. So we wanna think through this. We don't wanna just lift the torso up. We wanna tuck the tail, which Constance does well, and we wanna come up nice and slow, peeling the spine up. So you really wanna feel that. Now, hold on yourself here. We're gonna keep our head on the mat. We're not gonna lift our throat or anything. And we're just going to, if you can, like Constance, she can hold hands with herself under there. That's kind of nice, but it depends on your, depends on your comfort and the way your body is. Let's keep those hips up, a nice straight line from hip to shoulder to knee. And we're going to straighten the left leg out and hold it. Just hold it. Notice how Constance is keeping her leg nice and low. She's not picking it up because this makes it more challenging. Bend and place it down. Holding those hips up. Breathe out. Straighten the other leg. Just straighten it and hold it. Good, Donna. Bring your leg down a little bit. It's a little high. And bend and place it down. Now we're going to add five circles. Straighten the other leg in five and four. We don't have to go slow. Moving from the hip. Bend and place it down. That's fine. Straighten the other one. Looking beautiful. And circle from here. Feel it. Two, three. Woo -hoo. Five, then place it down. One more set of those. Reach in one and two from the hip. Three, four, five. Then place it down. One more side. Keep those hips up. That's the hard part, right? Three and four and five. Then place it down. Good enough. Now that here's another tricky part. We want to come down slow. Squeeze your glutes. Tuck your tail. Push down between your shoulder blades. Then continue through the ribs. You can kind of see Constance doing it. You can't roll through the lumbar, but you want to try. You want to think about that. Good, good, good. One knee at a time into the chest. I'm going to see what time it is. I my phone here. Sorry, guys. Just trying to see what time it is. Ooh, wow. Time flies when you're having fun. All right, I'm going to have you guys reach your legs up. And we're going to do the big circles. I want you to relax the upper body. This is the contralogy part. Notice how Constance put her arms out down, but just put your arms out and palms up so it'll force you to work into your back and abs. Squeeze your legs together, point your toes, let the top of feet so they're one strong unit. Oh, point your toes like this kind of gallery. Okay, bring it around to the right and lower. Feel the weight. Exhale, pick it up and pause. Change in direction. Reach. Lower. Exhale and pause. Inhale, round. So Constance is doing Jaimongo circles. You don't have to. You have to decide what you can do with control. Okay? So um, Donna circles are about half as big, but she's doing it perfect. She has perfect form. And as long as you switch direction with each one, you're going to get a much better, much better effect. And if you watch, if you literally watch your legs coming around and across the body and see it, it lights up your brain in, in better ways. There's, there's real science to back that up. So watching your extremities in front of your face moving across. All right, that's good. You guys bring the knees in. All oh, right, good for you. Making it even. Okay, put your feet down, roll to the side, come up and sit. And so to finish today, what I really want to do, oh, first, any requests, like what you want to do. Just do the side leg lifts. Oh, double leg lifts. Double leg lifts. Let's do two things. 
let's do our oblique curls and double leg lifts because then we're really hitting it hard. Okay, everybody, we're going to lay out all in one straight flat line across the middle of the mat. If you feel like you're going to tip over, that's good because if you're crunching forward looking down, you're not going to get the most out of this. All right, well, let's do the um, not advanced one, but we'll just do it real hard. Palm on the thigh. So we do it the top palm on this side, and no pike. I want you really straight legs, straight legs they want, and keep your heel like you're tipping, right? That's the best for what this. What about one. the um, Yeah, let, let your head lay it on the hand. Good job. Perfect, Donna. Breathe in. Exhale. Fire up. Just Two. Then, no hand. Oh, pardon me. Do you want the hand over or no hand? No, I thought we'd do the regular. Okay, thing. I've Just never keep done it on the, the regular, thigh. Oh yeah, so. she always does the advanced one. <laughs> Let's so. put your palm on your thigh. Okay. It's almost as good. It's okay. not a big difference. Now you're just gonna come up, tighten this like crazy, and reach for your heel. Two okay. and three and four. Both legs come up though, just like Donna. Exhale up. Squeeze. Two and three and four. Rest. Look forward. Don't look at your hand. Exhale up. So you're thinking of your spine. You want to curve it sideways. So keeping your head up helps. Lower. Yes. Exhale up. Oh, we're almost done, guys. One more of these. Lift. Two and three and four. And lower. Bring the legs forward to pike position. Put your head in your hand. Use your hand to help you if you need it. Down to push your top hand into your mat. Squeeze your legs and hold them up to start. Squeeze and hold. So this is a really good way to start because then you're going to be more controlled. Let's just lift and lower. Ten. Lift and lower. So in these, Constance is lowering a little more slowly than she lifts because that forces her to control her body. We'll lift. Five or four? Four. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Two. And one. I love how slow you're going down. I'm lower down. Sit up gracefully, bring the legs around, legs straight, long line, all the way long. I'm here for you, Donna. Straight legs, all the way back, palm on the thigh, yeah, and hoist that body up. Two, three, and four, and lower, put down the feet up down, and exhale, lift, feel that crunch right in here, that's where you need to feel it lower. Inhale, flowing, crunch, and lift. Two, now you're getting in. Let's do about three or four more. Exhale, lift. Two, three, four, rest. I love the rest part. Exhale, fire it up. I love the firing it up part too. Four, and one more of these. Exhale, fire it up. Two, and three, four, and rest. Put your head in, bring your over to pike position. We are squeezing, squeezing those legs together, Sue. Now we're going to hold them up to begin. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower the legs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Squeeze, lift. Exhale, lower. So Constance's legs are teeny bit bow-legged, not very much. But that's the only reason they're not stuck together. Like for me, my legs are a little bit teeny bit knock me, So my legs look like they're like really close. But she's doing it right. It's just there's a little bit of natural space there. She is squeezing them. All right, let's do four more legs. And lower with control. Great job tonight. Repeat this video. Share it. Why not? Give it to somebody. Men can do this. Men should do this. Pilates, Joe Pilates was a man. <laughs> right? All right, we are good. Okay, great job. Let's give ourselves a shell stretch before we come up and stretch the hamstrings. So we're just going to make sure we relax the back. So when we do our shell stretches, you guys, I really want you to take your selfish time here and let your body relax. So see where my hand is touching? This is the thoracic area of the spine, right? We want to push air into that. We want to increase our lung capacity there. Make your lungs feel bigger. Feel them expand. And then exhale. Let all the ribcage go back down into place. Really aware of the body. Getting those lungs strong. But you know what? Even if we don't get, you know, the, the big bad virus, we're going to get some kind of viruses. We're going to have coughs and stuff. And we're going to recover quicker because our lungs are going to be so strong. All right, ladies. We're ready to roll up gently. Finding the C-curve. Peacefully coming into the 
day or night, depending on when you're doing it. And show them how to gracefully get up sort of by going on all fours first. So this is a safe, graceful way to get up, okay? There's no reason for us to kind of force ourselves to go too fast. We want to be very dignified. So I'm going to let you have a really good bird's eye view of my friend here doing her hamstring stretch on a side angle. So she's tall, right? And her feet are aligned and her back is aligned. Now what she's going to do is not move the spine. She's going to keep it locked in place. Bring your chin up for this one. So one of the few that we do. And we're going to take the arms out and press the shoulders down. Good. Now we're ready. Just come forward a little bit and see how it feels. Keeping that chin up. All right, so now we're going to breathe and come down a little more. So the goal here, which Constance used to be really kind of rounded right here, like too much tension there. Now she's getting nice and flat. There's such a beautiful back. We want to lift up the sit bones and we want to lengthen up to the crown of the head. Okay, so we want to make a dip here in the back. Now, what we also want to do is on your exhale, Donna. Lean back a little bit into the hamstrings so you can feel a little more pressure. So your body from the side almost looks like an ironing board. This is a fantastic hamstring stretch. People say, everything's great except my hamstrings. Well, just do this. It's not that hard. And this is the added benefit, holding your arms up. Okay, for 30 seconds, so we're going to breathe. Just one more big breath in. And I stay do. up and stay strong. What? I do this after every run. Oh, so Constance uses this one after she goes running. There's a real problem for runners getting the hamstrings tightened. Let's release it in the best way I know how. Take a breath in. Exhale, relax, bend your knees. And Donna, we're just going to hang forward just like we did in the beginning. And let your body go. So men and women, letting your body release like this. You wouldn't believe how many people come to Pilates and they can't release their head. Even Donna was like that. Their head, they still were, their chin was still up because... There's something about us that has that sort of vigilance and nervousness. So we want to let that go. Really go. Let's take one more breath. And we're going to slowly come back up into the evening. It's evening here in Canton. And Donna, if you don't mind, if you want to, you can come over here. And we're going to say hi to a couple of people. Sue, this is Donna. She actually Hi. came a while back, and you might have met her. Um, and, you know, for the rest of you guys, Constance and Donna and I appreciate you. We want you to hang in there with this separation feeling at times. Text your friends, call your friends, share the video. Um, try the weight loss course at judyfarmer.com or, or talk to me about your health and weight if you want to. And we will see you next Tuesday. And we're going to try something new, a little variety. Okay, God bless you all. Take care. Get this turned off.